Hi, it's Russ from Studio One Expert. I want to show you a very quick way of tightening up backing vocals or layered vocals. You may be doing some rap stuff or some pop stuff where you want to get it tight. So there are automated ways you could do it. You could try using uh, Revoice Pro from Synchro Arts uh, or their Vocaline program, or you could also use Melodyne. But often what really happens in terms of uh, trying to do it uh, automatically is sometimes things slide in and out with vocals. And so the transients aren't always dead on. So I'm going to show you doing it with audio band in Studio One, and it's pretty fast doing it manually. So have a listen to this first. It's three parts of a vocal that actually had 20 tracks on it. I just want to show you three of them, and then go through it very quickly and show you how to get them into time. Have a listen to this. Power, majesty. So it's a repeating theme in the middle of uh, the middle eight of a track. And so if we go in close and have a look straight away, you can see that uh, things are ending differently, things are starting on different phrases. So let's go through and start having a listen to that and see what we can do to get that into a bit more shape. So let's select this and let's analyze that piece first. And straight away, it'll put a load of bend markers in, but I don't want that many, you know, I only want a few in just to pin it. And you may have seen a previous video I did about this. So I've put those in. I'm going to keep those bend markers. Now let's have a listen to just this vocal with the piano because we don't want to do them all at once because that would be just quite difficult. Power, so if you look at the vocal, if we're going closer, the actual there's a slide into the vocal here, but the note actually hits there. Power. So if we get the bend marker tool now and the audio bend tool and start to move that a little bit. We can put that there and try that. Power. And straight away, the one thing I'm going to do is turn off the snap option because with snap, it now gives me a complete free to do what I want in, rather than snapping to different parts. Have a listen to that again now. It's going close. Power. So this one here, were. What I first want to do is come in a bit closer and move that to there because it's in the wrong place at the moment. So I'm going to hold the Alt key and just slide that to there so it's there now, which now means that when I move it Power. slightly early. So let me grab that now. Go the other way. Power. See where that chord drops on the piano. Move that there. Majesty. Now there's one thing you would need to know about pen markers, and I've talked about it before in a previous video, is that if you don't pin stuff, and what I mean by pin stuff is stop it moving from the original position like the end of this note, then you're going to start sliding stuff around that you don't want to slide around. So I'm just going to undo that again, and I'm going to put in an extra bend marker here, click, and that goes in. Let's have a listen to that again. Power, so now if I move this one, then the end of that one doesn't move. Power, Too long that, so I'm going to grab this, I'm going to put a, put a marker in there, and I'm going to pin this back a bit to there, make it shorter to there. So have a listen to that now. Too, too, too far now, so we're going to go to there. Majesty, power. Listen to this bit. Majesty. Move that to there. And move that to there as well. Have a listen to that now. Majesty. So what do I go through? Go through that whole track now and make a guide of it. So what I want to do now is get this second track here. And we'll add in the bend markers to this one. And again, not a lot, just enough for us to get a starting point. And we will then, we're not going to hit quantize reply, we're just going to come in here now and start going through and checking on it. Just move that to there. Going to add another one in here. About there. Pull that back a bit. And one in here. Pull that back there a bit. Let's try those two first. one there that can go there Majesty. as you can see straight away if we're going close on this one now it's all over the place so what we want to do is we're going to put a bend marker there so they're going to end together there a bend marker is already in there don't need that bend marker so we can just mark it and delete it mark it and delete that one 
And as you can see, that ends differently to that one. So we want to put a bend marker in here and move that to there, move that there, and that there. Let's have a listen to that now. Majesty. That needs to come back here a bit. Into there, that one into there. And as you can see, as you go through, Majesty. It's got the third one now. And we'll add in some bend markers. Analyze. Let's have a look what we've got then. So that's going to be there. Turn on our tool again. That there. See, that's different there now. So we'll add one in there. We'll put him to there. Put one in here. Slide that into there. Let's go through a bit further. That's okay, but we'll just bring it to there a bit. Now this is all over the place as well again, so we'll move that to there. And this baby can go in to here a bit. So what else we've got left here? There, we've got a difference as well. So that needs to go back to there. As you can see straight away, that one needs to go here. And then let's just clean those two up a bit. And there we've got an end there that's really late again, so that's going to come off late. So straight away, it doesn't take long going through it manually to start getting it into shape. Power, majesty, power, majesty. So as you see, as you go through, it will just tighten the whole thing up. So there we are, using bend markers and audio bend to get vocals nice and tight. Thanks for watching, I'll see you again soon.